Hello, family. As you can see, we are doing DIY dip powder today. <laughs> I've got my magic bullet. I've got some pigments. I've got some clear acrylic and some white acrylic. And this is all you need to make your own custom DIY dip powder. It's so easy. Wait till you see all this nonsense. <laughs> I've been playing around with this stuff so much and I am now officially hooked on making my own dip powder. Um, please do not think for a second that I will not be buying dip powder anymore. That will never happen. <laughs> Especially like um, specialty stuff like flakies and you know, all sorts of glitters and stuff like that. But I thought since, you know, everything is where it is at the moment, this would be a great alternative to, you know, me and to some other people that maybe can't afford to buy all these dip powders and maybe you want to make your own. So I will leave everything I'm using in the description box. We're going to get into making some dip powder. Look at all these colors. I think it was 25 different colors. They're mica pigments. They do have a slight pearlescence to them. So if you're not into that, um, I will leave a different um, pigment kit for you. Um, but these I quite enjoyed. And you know what? The end result, as you will see later, is really not super pearly. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> not as much as I thought it was going to be, at least. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with one color. I'm using this color... Um, glacier and I did since then and I may add a picture and at some point at the end I did make a whole blue color story which I thought was outstanding so what I'm gonna do is you know I'm not even when it comes to cooking I'm not really a big measuring type fan I don't know I just kind of like throw stuff in <laughs> so forgive me if this is like super unclear I'm gonna take approximately two of these plastic spoonfuls of clear acrylic stick that into my little magic bullet whatever and you can use a coffee grinder too for this i wouldn't make coffee in it again <laughs> or use it for coffee beans but you could use one and then i'm going to take like a half a scoop of the um white dip powder or white acrylic powder these are mia secret acrylics you guys know i love these things anyway um but for this you can grind it up so super fine that it turns acrylic into dip powder. Does that mean you can turn any acrylic into dip powder? Probably. <laughs> I may speculate that, although I would not go putting glitters in a blender. Please don't do that. You're going to mess things up. I'm literally taking this pigment and just, you're going to see how much I add. It's not much at all. I didn't put a whole lot of pigment in here. It looks like a lot. It dispersed a lot, but it's really not. I didn't measure it. I'm sorry, but this is something you can completely customize and make it as pigmented or as sheer or however you want it. But you're going to see how my outcome goes here in just a bit. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Hot mess Marla strikes again. I forgot to take the rim off of the thing, but got it. I'm good now. I'm going to put on the blender attachment, stick it in my magic bullet, and off we're going to go. So with these pigments, I didn't find that I had to blend them for too long. I think I blended them for maybe a minute. Probably not even that. I, you know, really just until everything is completely combined and I did swatch it on my hand. Look at this. Like, tell me that wouldn't make a gorgeous eyeshadow. <laughs> you know, and I was, I was talking to one of my subscribers, you know who you are, and uh, we were talking about making dip powders and stuff, and she mentioned to me that the mica pigments are what they use sometimes to make um, eyeshadows and soaps and all that kind of stuff that has pigment in it. So I was like, that might be another... If I wore makeup, <laughs> if I wore makeup, I might have an interest in making my own eyeshadow, but I, I don't. <laughs> but if you want to, go for it and let me know how it turns out. So we're going to get this swatched. I am, uh, I'll leave the swatch liquids in my description box for you guys. I think I'm maybe using Rossi here, possibly, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these swatched out. I'm gonna let you guys watch as I swatch, and I will be back and we'll do a mani with my new color. So stick around and I'll be right back.
dying to know y'all's thoughts. <laughs> Is that the coolest thing ever? My mind was blown blown i couldn't believe how easy this was look at how gorgeous this color is unbelievable i cannot wait literally to get this on my nails so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna put this on my nails um definitely comment down below and let me know if you've tried this before um actually i think i mentioned this to you guys in a past video i had been wanting to do this for a while now literally months and then not long ago maybe a week or so ago I saw a video that Christina Couture did where she showed everyone how to make their own acrylics and it's literally the same exact thing and I'm like, okay, at least I know I'm on the right track here. <laughs> I'm going to link her video up here so you guys can check that out. Um, she's one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her to pieces. She does some, if you think I do crazy nail shenanigans, she's like queen shenanigator so you guys must go watch her video. Anyway, we're going to get into getting this on my nails i'm gonna follow my exact same mani routine exact same products i really wanted to test this out fully to see if it actually behaved dipped wore finished you know just like my normal dip powder stuff usually does so that's what we're gonna do i gotta tell you okay so for those of you who have used panda dips You'll know what I'm talking about. If you have not tried Panda Dips, you must. Um, I will leave info for that and a discount code in the description box. But this dip powder, this homemade freaking dip powder, felt just like Panda Dips. It's so soft and creamy and buttery. And look at the opacity in one dip. I could not believe it. Couldn't believe it. This stuff, y'all, <laughs> if you like dip powder, I would highly, highly recommend trying this out, doing it yourself, you just, and you'll give yourself a huge pat on the back because <laughs> this stuff is amazing. I couldn't believe how good it was. I'm going to let you guys watch me um, finish up my application. I'm, I'm kind of cruising through it because I don't want to bore y'all half to death and make this like an hour long video. I'm going to cap it in clear like I always do, and I will be right back. So your girl over here had a, <laughs> I don't know, it could be brilliant, it could be freaking stupid, but I had a thought while I'm doing this voiceover, I was wondering, and come out and down, come, come out, <laughs> comment down below, <laughs> I need to get out of this house, y'all, <laughs> comment down below and let me know if you guys would want me well, first of all, I'm not selling these at all. This is just something I want to do for fun. Um, but comment down below and let me know if you guys would be into me creating a little like collection for maybe an upcoming giveaway. Would that be something you guys might want to like custom Marla Chris dips? Oh my gosh, Marla Chris dips. <laughs> Look at that. Um, let me know if that's something that you guys would want for a giveaway i'm gonna go ahead and do my normal filing and shaping and contouring i'm not gonna make you watch all of it if you want to watch all of it i'll leave a video up here in the cards um where you can find it if you want to watch all the filing and shaping shenanigannery <laughs> um you know what 
Hi there. Hello. I am Marla Chris. If you are new, thank you for staying this long. <laughs> Please consider subscribing if you like nail shenanigans and general debauchery of all sorts. Uh, I would very much appreciate it. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up so I know you liked it and I will create more content like this for you. Anyway, back to my filing and shaping. And I also wanted to just keep you guys posted as I try to do as often as possible on what I have coming up. Um, I did a few reviews. I did a review for a company called Dipsy Dips. Obviously, that's a dip powder company, in case you couldn't gather that by the name of the company. So you'll see that coming up. Also, just recently did a review for Triple D's, which there is a very special something going on in that video. Y'all won't want to miss that. Um, I do have some new paws and claws coming up. So definitely continue emailing me and sending me all of your stories. I love reading them and sharing them with you guys. So definitely uh, keep going with that. I'll leave my email address for paws and claws over here on the screen somewhere, as well as in my description box. And of course, everything else is in there. If you need me for anything, my general email is in there, my Instagram description box is where you want to go if you need anything, <laughs> literally. So um, I'm going to let you guys finish up watching me e-file. And as always, if you guys have any video requests, definitely leave them in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram and let me know or email me whatever you're comfy with. And I love doing subscriber requests. Oh, another thing that I have coming up, um, I do have some other nail products that you guys mentioned in my Instagram post about your least favorite stuff. I do have some more stuff that I'm getting in. Shipping has been super slow, so I apologize for my delay, um, but I do have that coming very soon, so I'll get that filmed. I think Brian will be participating in some of those. <laughs> <laughs> you like when I do videos with him? We have a good time together. <laughs> All right, so I am going to let you guys watch me finish up my e-filing. I'll be right back for some final thoughts, so stick around. So true to form, I am using my Nail Addict LA No Wipe Gel Top Coat as I normally do gel top coat over my dip nails, just a personal preference thing. You are absolutely welcome to use any top coat you want. You can use dip gel, regular polish. I'll leave a card up here in the eye thing on a uh, top coat video that I did. So definitely feel free to use any top coat. Don't have to use gel if you don't want to. I happen to love it. And let me just tell you, so my final thoughts on this whole making your own dip powder stuff. I feel like an idiot for not doing this sooner. Most, Much like most of the stuff that I wind up getting into, I'm like, why have I not been doing this for the last year and a half? I don't, what? <laughs> this is so unbelievably awesome and simple and cost efficient. I mean, think of the, sh I mean, you saw, I made three little minis out of that tiny amount of acrylic and pigment. I can't even fathom how much product I can get out of just those products alone. It's insane. Total money saver. And I mean, you get to put your stamp on it and say, hey, I made this. I made this 100%. I did it. So I am a huge fan. Y'all need to try this. And if you do, let me know. And I would love to see your creations if you decide to do this for yourself. Like every Manny, I'm going in with my Candy Skin Cure Cuticle Oil. Stay tuned for an announcement. Um, I may have a little collab with Candy Skin Care coming soon, so stay tuned for that. 
as always thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate the heck out of all of you stay safe stay well i will see you guys in my next vid love you bye